Well, I thought I would just give a quick daylight tour of the rocket stove. Um, so basically there's an air inlet uh, set low at an angle. Uh, set it low at an angle so I could actually build the fire pit in the ground. Fire pits lined with regular brick, which over time have cracked and you can see this is settled. This was, that was level. Both those pieces were square with each other before. But even through settling, it's continued to operate okay. Um, at some point I'll do a, a fresh clean build. This was uh, a test model number two that worked pretty well and I just kind of kept it because been cooking on it and really enjoying it. Um, anyway, it's all basically cinder block and brick. It's set in the ground, fire pit in the ground, lined with brick. And then uh, there's a chimney section over here. There was a chimney tile like flue going up the center of it. Um, most of it's still there, a bit, bits of it have cracked out with the excessive uh, temperature differences that you end up with sometimes uh, for starting up and stuff. Anyway, um, it's it's in smoke mode right now, sort of, which is kind of like an idle mode. Uh, helps me repel the deer from my crops and um, uh, keeps a fire going all the time. So if I need heat, I want to heat up coffee or throw something on to cook or grill something or smoke something, I can just throw it on and not really have to think about it. Um, cooking on this really once you get the hang of it is easier and takes less time than any kind of kitchen cooking you could ever do um, this is just an old uh, uh, was a propane grill um, I just scapped the top off it basically so I'd have a grill piece like this that I could set in nice and easy just drops in there uh, this had a nice little oven temp thing on it um, usually when I'm cooking like chicken and potatoes or something, you know, like a dinner kind of thing, I run it between 350 and 400. Um, that is easily regulated once the fire is stoked up simply by setting two bricks in front to allow a little bit of air vent hole. That's it. If I want to turn the temperature up, I slide this brick across. I can turn it up to 500, 600. If I crack the throttles open like that, or even both bricks off, I can easily achieve 1500 degrees in the oven, and possibly more. <clears throat> um, it is probable that you could use this for a kiln if you wanted to, although I don't think that the grill thing would last very long at those kind of temperatures. Um, anyway, works really well. Uh, I don't have a real simple... Um, door here but I just uh, this came from a job on a house we did basically it's just a chimney clean out that I put you know uh, horizontal instead of vertical and uh, you can see down into the fire chamber there you can see the smoke coming out and uh, that's some wet cherry on top there uh, there's a little bit of dry maple underneath just to get it going there we go and uh, it's basically uh, once you once you get wet wood going, it'll stay going, no problem. And it actually kind of dries out, and it builds a fantastic coal base that keeps your fire uh, going for a long time. So I can stoke this up, uh, you know, in the morning and go do my chores and go do my day, take care of things. And uh, this just stays here kind of idle. And uh, when I get home, I stoke it up again a little bit when I'm hungry, and uh, I throw food on it and cook away. Um, usually it takes about an hour to cook uh, like say chicken and potatoes or uh, you know uh, whatever whatever I'm putting on it. Um, that's just what I happened to cook last night. Um, but yeah it's great it's handy it's easy and um, so that's basically in essence my rocket stove grill cooker setup. Also, this top, once I get that firebox rolling, uh, gets hot and it also serves as a burner, like a stove burner, also so I can, uh, can heat coffee on it or put a pan of beans on or cook scrambled eggs or, you know, whatever you want. So you got both the stove top and the oven all in one, all wood fired, pretty much self-maintaining. Um, I also put my eggshells in here 
I kind of collect them over here and then when I get a bunch of them I just throw them in the firebox with everything else when I clean my ashes out they all get spread out over my crop areas and that gives my crops trace mineral nutrition potassium calcium phosphorus magnesium manganese zinc on down the list of trace minerals um, and uh, it vastly improves my crop health um, yeah so uh, serves many purposes costs very little to operate um, I can run I can do all my cooking for a whole night probably on those two pieces of wet cherry um, if I wanted to run it for a day it might take me three pieces like that if that depending on what I throttle it at um, so yeah very simple to operate simple to use once you get the hang of it you know I find myself just kind of chuckling to myself when I come in with dinner at night off it and you know I basically like threw it on went and did what I was doing came back grabbed it off and like I go eat and you know like very little time invested very handy